So I've been taking questions recently on Snapchat, and uh, I'll try to keep this relatively short, but I'll try to lump together as many of the big questions I see keep being asked over and over again, uh, all into here. And really, the biggest thing that I see is a lot of people looking for advice. Not necessarily looking for advice, but looking for a soundboard, something to kind of bounce ideas off of. Um, and I'm glad that I can be that person. Um, and one thing I see a lot of is a lot of asking, like, where do you get your shirts? What kind of ink do you use? How do you do this? How do you edit pictures? How do you do that? Uh, two takeaways from this. One is I see there's a need for this, and I see that I can probably expand on this and give you guys some, some help. Uh, Cause I know some of you guys are looking. Some of you guys are following this whole building a brand process because you are trying to build your own brand or trying to build your own screen printing business or clothing line. Um, and I understand there's some difficulties when first starting up, so I can try and help with that. I can try and help with uh, editing pictures and how to do how to take creative pictures and all that. I I can help give you ideas for that side. So that's the first takeaway is I need to do more informative stuff. Um, I think documenting everything that plays a big role, but I think informing is also something I have not been doing that I think needs to maybe pick up some. The other takeaway of this is I don't want this to come across as I don't want this to come across wrong, but there's so much value in doing things yourself. Uh, Instead of asking me where I get my shirts from or what inks I use or why I bought this brand and not this one, try it yourself. Get two different, like if you're trying to run, if, if you're trying to do a, uh, if you're trying to make a clothing line for yourself, you have all, I mean you've got access to all the resources I do. I mean there's this crazy website called Google and you can pretty much type in any question you've got and it will give you an answer whether you like it or not uh, like you don't need to come and ask me who the best supplier is for shirts like go buy some buy a handful from American Apparel buy some from Gildan buy some from Next Level buy some from Custom Ink like there's a lot of places like if you used to a Google search on blank t-shirts or or uh clothing designers or whatever like you'll get there you'll get the answers and you're gonna get them quicker than asking me and i'm beyond i don't want you to take this as i i don't want you to ask me dumb questions like that because they're not dumb questions and i'll help you out as much as i can but you will get your answer much much quicker if you just uh go look for stuff yourself if you just do things yourself, there is so much value in that. You know what, I don't even think I'm going to edit over this. I think I'm just going to leave this raw, just me talking. There is so much value in you just doing things yourself uh, and not relying on other people telling you how to do it. I mean, that's exactly how I start out. I'm, I mean, well, I watched some videos on YouTube, but ultimately... They showed me the the gist of it, but ultimately I didn't I didn't figure out how to screen print by sitting on YouTube. I figured out how to screen print by actually buying a press, buying ink, and buying some blank shirts, and just playing around. Yeah, it took time. It took two or three months of me messing up every single night, and it took a little bit of capital of me messing up every single night. Uh, but that's part of the process. That's part of your journey and your path that you are on. You're not going to just fall flat on your face for no apparent reason. If you do fall flat on your face and don't get anything out of it, then maybe you need to reevaluate that time in your life where you felt hopeless and you and you felt like you didn't know what was going on. Because I can almost guarantee with 100% confidence that there was some sort of life lesson in there somewhere if you're looking for it. Uh, but you can do it. You can do just about anything. You can do anything you want to do. And it doesn't have to be related to uh, clothing or screen printing or photography or anything creative. I mean, that's where, that's where my interests are at right now, right this second. I'm really around the creative social media and uh, clothing kind of niches. 
So that, that's what I pay attention to right now. So if you ask me a question about politics or something like that, I'm not going to be able to help you. Um, but it's kind of what I'm paying attention to. And that, that's what I, I think, I don't know. I think the biggest thing I can give to you guys is try and push you to do things yourself. Ask questions, but see if you can find the answer yourself. There, I mean, there's there's some stuff you can go and, I mean, you feel free to ask, but that deep connection with how you actually correlate things and how, how you're going to actually make a difference and actually make things work is going to come from you just doing it. I mean, it, it's as simple as that. With screen print, that's how I figured it out. With photography, um... I, I still don't know all that much about photography. I mean, I'm learning. I'm learning what all the different controls and buttons do. Luckily, I'm married to someone who is a photography whiz and knows a lot about photography. But I'm still getting there. I'm still learning how to edit Instagram pictures. And I think that... I think that's another part of it is to just continually be willing to know that where you're at right now is probably not where you're going to be at in a year or maybe even 30 days. Maybe something as small as that. I don't know. It's really simple. I'm not going to overcomplicate this building a brand. I was going to do some editing and all that stuff, but I think we're just going to leave it raw, straight up, you and me talking just like old times. Just like we start with the old two minute drills. That's really how, talk about just doing stuff, that's kind of how I started out with going down this path of really documenting because I was trying to get my thoughts out of my head. I wanted to see if I can capture engagement for two minutes. I just really want you guys to try things out for yourself. See if you can figure out the process and see if you can figure out why things work, how things work for you, and how you can improve on the situation. That's how you're going to move forward with your life and that's really how you're going to create a different style is by really internalizing what you're seeing and processing it that way. Uh, but enough of this. Sorry this isn't a big old flashy building the brand episode, but I wanted to get back to our roots a little bit and just keep it simple. I'm going to the gym. I got a heavy bench day or a heavy upper day. So, uh, yeah, to the gym we go.